Yo, 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 this is King Runner coming to you guys live and direct. First and foremost, do what? Go follow me at K-I-N-G-E-A-R-N-E-R-S-W-O-R-L-D. That's King Ernest World on Instagram. Y'all know King Ernest One was hacked. I want y'all to go there. Make sure y'all click the link in the bio. Check out the honorable books that Kareem 0X1 has. The honorable KD. Um, it's a general, man. There's so many different aspects. Been through a lot of life. Learned lessons. In and out the can most of his life, majority of it. And he's managed to accomplish a lot of things individuals can't accomplish that's doing life. Individuals that accomplish can't accomplish that are isolated. Individuals can't produce these type of books. I want for you guys to go click the link in my bio at King on this world. Tonight I want to speak about Fat Joe. Everybody is everywhere about Fat Joe saying that Fat Joe is a rat. Now, I've been receiving this paperwork from his family, his friends, whoever these individuals are supposed to be, but I know they're close because a lot of them expressed that they was kind of like, you know, related to him and they've been trying to find out what's going on with the paperwork. It mind boggled me when I first got the original call and an individual, you know, that put me in contact with the person said, we wanted to get to the bottom of it. We're not saying he's a rat. But well, we can't get no understanding, King Erna, and being as though this is what you do, can you get some understanding? So I went and done my research, and um, there's no sign of Fat Joe telling on anyone. What happened was someone gave a statement. It wasn't Fat Joe, because if it was Fat Joe, they would have made him sign that statement. Now... This statement spoke of what someone else was saying, third party. New York Post went ahead, posted that. Sources said that he told the same thing that was in the police report that we seen. How can someone say that Fat Joe is a rat when they don't even have understanding of what this paperwork is. Even when Starr spoke, he said, is it true or not? We need to do look into it. The reason why they're not going to be able to look into it, the reason why they're not going to be able to get any understanding is because it's not there. I think individuals in our community need to stop reaching for what I would say clout. See, me doing the whole honor snatching and me giving understanding to the community of what stop and recycle crime is, is what it is and what I'm giving. But you have individuals who are channeling in on just the rat word. Rat, rat, rat. This is their whole goal. And it becomes a thing where it's antagonizing because... Some of these individuals aren't qualified even to call an individual a rat without knowledge and their status on the streets. Are they a civilian? Some of these individuals be civilians, go to day work every day, be around a certain amount of dudes and just get to talking and running their mouth. This is not qualification of being certified uh, individual that's from the concrete of it. You see where I'm coming from? of it so if you don't have no understanding of streets you're not a part of the streets you shouldn't even speak on it just like every person who is a part of the streets or ever was a part of the streets should have understanding that you don't go around harming civilians no matter what they do they get that pass you know why they don't want to consume their life with violence, drugs, negativity, sex, lust, things of this nature. So you got to excuse them. You made your bed, you got to lay in it. If that's what you're doing out there and you're doing it in front of individuals that are on the part of the streets. I sit and look at the DMs and I look at the paperwork that they're speaking of, supposed to be Fat Joe's paperwork and I'm confused at how individuals could even take time out 
and really go into it being something that he told on. I can't see it there. I don't see anything near that put some there or even, I don't understand. And when the trial happened, this says in the New York Enquirer that at the end of the day, <clears throat> that man didn't show up for the subpoena. Now we all know about homicides. I could say if it was a car thief case, but he, he was allowed to tell his lawyer to tell them, I'm not showing up, I don't know what happened. And he supposedly had already told. That doesn't make sense to me. So we gotta start making sense out of things. And many times we get misled by things and some of us get emotion. And I believe that these people that are sitting around hating are individuals that are part of the fuel. The fire only gets lit if King Ernest speaks on it. And if King Ernest says that Fat Joe's a rat, then the world is going to look into it and they may believe it. So King Ernest has to be mindful and has to make sure that he doesn't make those type of mistakes. Because those type of mistakes can ruin people. And we want to make sure that we never, ever, ever do the things that we made mistakes in the past. Sometimes you make a mistake because you take a person's word. And you look at their nobility and you say, that person has no reason to lie. Well, never say that. You never know who has a reason to lie that you don't have knowledge. You never know who is jealous of another individual that deep down rooted that they begin to speak lies on individuals. So what we're going to do here and make sure we continue to do here is call it how we see it. And how we see it, Fat Joe did not tell on anything unless there's some type of sentencing transcripts stating that he told, um, unless, unless there's some type of trial transcripts saying that he told, unless there's a handwritten statement signed by Joseph himself, we can't do this what you guys who are DMing me you looking for King Gurner platform to fall apart you want King Gurner to lie on individuals you want me to make things up no once some type of negativity in that fashion or any fashion has been brought to you in the past and you failed you make sure that you don't fall again so you don't take other people's word you don't turn what they think they may see. You know how you carry it? With pure honor. You wash your hands with it. You back away and you be honorable and you say, nah, I can't say that because that doesn't show anything. I'm King Erner from the Honor Your Life campaign. Youngins, when you're coming up in a community and you grew up in poverty, the number one thing you have to hold on is to what? Loyalty. Loyal to respect, care. These are the emotions of individuals that been through uh, probably a hundred times more things than I have been through. Nobody wants to be sneaked. Nobody want to be disloyal to individuals. Nobody want to have people feel that pain of, you know, turning their backs on, you know, other individuals. If we get that together and we can unify I think that we can get a connection going on. I kind of like been speaking to KD through our different writings and things that we've been saying on social media. And I think that honestly, just to keep it a thousand with y'all, more than anything, he has a hell of a leadership and a connection to the people that been through the things that I've been through, he's been through, and black men worldwide been through. We got to tap in. We got to support. We got to make sure when KD comes home that the leadership continues, that he continue to lead those who have been through the things that we have been through, those that have experienced life so quickly at a young age about nothing, all because we wanted to be cool or be down or be thorough or be like mother or be like father or be like this gangster or whatever the case or whatever image or character somebody put in our heads. We have to remove that. And these books that he has written, it gives me an understanding that he has more knowledge mentally than I have all the way around the board. 
So when you see someone who has knowledge mentally all the way around the board, you begin to get an understanding that what? Information. Information must be given. That information will help you get further. Unifying the individuals that was the worst in the city, the ones who was worse. We're talking street activity, no perverts, no pedophiles, no rapists, things of that nature, There's no rizzats, none of that. We're talking stand-up men that stood on honor that don't have no beef with one another, but because they're from here, there, or there, they don't speak. We must unify today, but we must unify upon honor and have understanding that we will not start to bicker with individuals about their religious aspects. Let's give each other history and understanding of our people because that's obligatory. That's something that we can do in Islam. I can find out who my ancestors is without praying to my ancestors. I can find out about the good energy that they have without assuming that they are something other than my ancestors. And I want individuals to make sure they tap in, tune in, because the Circle of Honor podcast is coming. We have what? Leek Moss is going to be right there, as usually, by my side, all the way there, 100,000%. We're going to have Mustafa from the Rebuilding Foundation, who what? We're king over, over to the honorable industry of understanding what promotion is and these things of this nature. We have to understand that when we start off things, sometimes they don't blossom as quick as others would expect for it to do. But when they do blossom, they blossom. And they last a lot longer. I'm King Erner from the Honor Your Life campaign. I want y'all to make sure that y'all never put smut or dirty you know, names on people who aren't rats, who aren't pedophiles, who aren't perverts, who aren't rapists. We want to make sure that we do not make these lies up. And we want to make sure we investigate because if we don't investigate so individuals can get an understanding, I know like in my platform, I want the youth to really get an understanding. This is not for a dollar. This isn't for a coin. I have gave out more than I ever received from anything. But guess what? It's the good feeling in that. And every deed does not have to be showed. And some deeds you might have to show in order to lead the people worldwide to get the masses. King on a live and direct. Make sure y'all tune all the way in.